With the Minnesota Fighting Vikings hiring general manager Quesito Fomenza as well as head coach Kevin O'Connell, now the third leg of the triangle of offseason authority change whatnot comes into focus what are the vikings going to do with kirk cousins now ultimately it's going to be quasi adofa mensa's call but kevin o'connell who has history with kirk cousins was his quarterback's coach back in the day in washington will certainly have some input like i i you know quasi's talked about this is gonna be a collaborative effort if, if kevin o'connell's like i a thousand percent want to work with kirk cousins i need him he's the oxygen that i breathe i don't think that quasi is just gonna trade him or vice versa if you said ah, i can't work with him uh, then quasi just extends him for 17 years that's not gonna happen but what are the vikings going to do because let's think about it. Kevin O'Connell just won a Super Bowl with Matthew Stafford and Stafford before he joined the Rams, given his time with the Lions, him and Kirk Cousins right about here, right about here in, in terms of, hey, big time stats, not a lot of results, even though Cousins had one playoff when uh, Matthew Stafford had zero in Detroit. And then all of a sudden, when you put him in an offensive system, which is amazing because Kevin O'Connell had a big part of it and with weapons around him. And guess what? You won a Super Bowl. And I'm sure that Kevin O'Connell, given his history, as well as when he's talked about in the interview, nailing it, that he can win with Kirk Cousins. And the Vikings may be stuck because Kirk's contract, well, first off, the extension in 2020, uh, not, not great. Like Spielman did a lot of great things. That was not one of them because it saddled the Vikings with a $45 million cap at this year. His base salary of $35 million bucks is fully guaranteed. So the Vikings, they can't cut him. That's obvious. And they can trade him. They can extend him. They can uh, add void years. They can do all those things. But the question is, what do the Vikings want to do? Now, if... if uh, Kevin O'Connell thinks that he can win with Kirk Cousins. I think that an extension does make sense, even though... It is hard to stomach. It is hard to fathom where it's like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice here, Kirk Cousins. One of those spots. But I understand this would be a very hard sell for Vikings fans. But you need to appeal to Kirk Cousins. Where he's obviously not going to take a pay cut. He's never taken less at any point in his career. But you can be like, hey, Kirk, we need to spread out your cap it so that we can build a team around you so you don't die. Uh, look what happened, Joe Burrow. Look what's happened to you uh, over the last couple of years. Do you want that? Hmm? Hmm. Do you like that? Hmm. Now, we can have an extension and Rob Brzezinski can craft it where the Vikings are only tethered to you for one or two years, uh, but we can spread out those cap hits so it makes it palatable. And also, maybe you get another signing bonus in there that also spreads out. I don't know. Well, like, There's ways to work around it and that would be appealing to both sides, uh, especially Kirk Cousins, who does have final say in this. And if Kevin O'Connell thinks that he can win a Super Bowl with Kirk Cousins and the Vikings are going to be getting after it in 2022 and competitive and really going after that bra that brass ring right out of the gate that makes sense that does make the most sense it also it this does not preclude you from drafting a quarterback if the right guy falls into your lap like say say the vikings get into the second round and carson strong is still there chilling or desmond ritter etc or even at 12 like i think it's unlikely that malik willis gets to 12 or kenny pickett but if they get there you have to think about it i i think you do but Whatever it is with Kirk Cousins, I think that if Kevin O'Connell says, hey, I can work with him uh, and he can be our guy, we can be competitive for the next couple of years. Because remember, Kirk is 33, returns 34 in August. He has not shown a sign of de uh, precipitous decline yet. The arm is still alive. Health hasn't been an issue with Kirk. So it's not like we're talking about a 38-year-old Joe Flacco. It ain't that at that point. So I would understand if Kevin O'Connell and Quasi Mensa are comfortable enough with Kirk Cousins, because a la what happened with uh, Kevin O'Connell and Matthew Stafford with the Rams last year, that they want to put their uh, the f first years of their regime, and potentially the only years of their regime, on Kirk Cousins, uh, a short two-year extension, maybe three, uh, where the back-end years are toilet paper, that does make sense. Or... Yeah, if they're not sold on Kirk and they don't get a decent trade option and also they, they want to compete in 2022, Cousins does give them the best win, uh, chance to win games next season, then I think adding void years does make sense because it, it would make sense even though you're kicking the can down the road. In a sense, you're not because your presumptive replacement, your uh, quarterback of the future, is either going to be Kellamond or rookie TBD. 
So they'll be on their rookie years. So having the the idea of warehousing Kirk Cousins' future cap hits 2023, 2024, and beyond, it, it isn't that bad. Uh, plus, with the you know the COVID uh, and whatnot essentially gone, the uh, salary cap will resume to grow at its normal pace. So uh, essentially, even though you are kicking uh, Kirk Cousins' cap hits down the road, you're not really hamstringing yourself. Now, we don't want a Drew Brees type situation where you're just kneecapping the franchise, but I understand if you want to do it short term as a way to have your cake and eat it too, where you're being competitive in 2022 as well as building for the future. But I mean, those are really the options right now. I like, unless you're not blown away by a trade, I, you know, I, I just don't really see it. Plus, remember, like Quasi. We'll also have some great insight on Kirk Cousins as well. You know, beyond that, he hired a head coach who was his quarterback's coach in 2017 in Washington before Kirk Cousins got paid. He uh, Quasi also worked for three years in San Francisco with Kyle Shanahan, as well as two years in Cleveland with Kevin Stefanski. Both of those guys have a pretty, pretty, pretty good idea of the type of quarterback that Kirk Cousins is. Like, uh, so Quasi will have an idea if. The Vikings should hang their shingle with Kirk Cousins and possibly extend him long term or at minimum roll with him in 2022. Like if Shanahan and Stefanski and Kevin O'Connell were just like dragging cigarettes and be like, I saw some things, man, and some stuff with Kirk Cousins. Yeah, I, I could not work with that bastardo anymore. Now, even though that's certainly not going to be the case, but on the field, they're like, Yes, I could win with Kirk Cousins. No, I can't win with Kirk Cousins. And I, I actually do believe that Stefanski and Kyle Shanahan probably would have been candid because at that point, I mean, he's not your quarterback anymore, so you don't have to kiss his butt. You don't have to do this, that, or the other thing. Plus, you have no incentive to lie. So, potentially, they got the straight dirt. Uh, they gave it to Quasi Dofamensa, and that's extremely valuable for him coming in as GM. And maybe he re relayed that to the Wilfs, and maybe Kevin O'Connor did the same thing. And maybe... It isn't just, hey, I'm going to say all these nice things so that I get the job. Maybe Quasi and Kevin O'Connell truly believe that they can win with Kirk Cousins, which would be appealing for the Wilfs since Spielman, as a parting gift, is like, hey, here's the QB, $45 million cap it. Well, the largest in NFL history. Just great, grand, wonderful. But it is going to be an interesting offseason. I... If the Vikings had hired Raheem Morris or D'Amico Ryans or Jonathan Gannon or whoever, I think, or, or um, uh, Graham, I think that it would have been 50 50 that Kirk Cousins gets traded. Uh, I think it probably would have been, I don't know, 60 40 if Harbaugh came in. I think that he would have wanted a veteran quarterback since he, he needed to win right away. But with O'Connell, given their history, I think it's 90 10 that Kirk Cousins stays. Uh, maybe a 10% chance that he is traded, but I mean, that's it. 90% he stays. Uh, they obviously can't do it as is with his contract, but that 90% is either with an extension or with adding void years, but we'll see. We'll see. The future of the Vikings getting very, very interesting. And remember, remember what Kevin O'Connell did with Matthew Stafford. He can do that with Kirk Cousins. Protect Kirk, have weapons, have him be a, in a modern passing offense with a coach who's been there, done that guy on the t-shirt with with uh, Kurt and Great things can happen, man. We'll see. Uh, but your thought. Oh, by the way, if mm, here's the case. If I mean, this is my favorite like barroom hypothetical thing. If you put Kirk Cousins on the 2021 Rams, what happens? I still think that they win the Super Bowl. And if you put Kirk on the Niners team from a couple years ago that lost the Super Bowl to the Chiefs, what happens? I think that the Niners win the Super Bowl because Kirk Cousins hits Emmanuel Sanders on that post route 99 times out of 100. Jimmy G cannot do that. So, yeah, I mean, Kirk, people always take it as, hey, you, Kirk Cousins can win a Super Bowl if everything is near perfect around him. A lot of people take that as disrespect. It isn't because you cannot say that about every quarterback in the league. Like Jimmy Garoppolo. Hey, can you win a Super Bowl with Jimmy Garoppolo if everything is near perfect around him? No. Now, I, I truly do not believe that, but I do I do put guys like uh, Matthew Stafford in that category. I do put guys like Dak Prescott in that category. I do put guys like, who else would we put in there? Uh, that might be it. That might be, oh, Matt, Matt Ryan would be a good one. Well, Matt Ryan at this age, yes. Uh, but uh, again, it's praise. It, it is praise. And I think the Vikings at Kevin O'Connell, if they want to keep it together with Kirk Cousins, I think they can get it done in 2020. 
Damn it, 2022. It was such a great rhyme. Get it done, 2021. But they obviously did not. Anyways, your thoughts and our thoughts. Vikings, Kevin O'Connell, Kirk Cousins, what's going to happen? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. We'll support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.